Welcome back everybody to Funky D Star TV. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Breaking. Cameroon president reportedly dies. Cameroon president reportedly dies. So this is a, a breaking news coming from Cameroon that uh, their president called Mr. Pobea now late according to the news this man have been ruling cameroon for over 42 years and he died at the age of 91 may so rest in perfect peace now before we dove into this uh, particular uh, breaking news. I want to take this opportunity to thank all my beautiful subscribers out there. Welcome back and uh, thank you all and um, I appreciate. I appreciate. Thank you all. So uh, the news they tell us say Cameroonian president what they call Mr. Paul Bea say in don't die today. The man Paul Bea govern Cameroon for 42 years that is this man <laughs> a very very lucky man 42 years without any opposition and let's not forget how uh Pobia came into power according to the cameroonian uh, political history now somebody did there before go out put be okay uh just uh, uh for some time just stay here for some time that was how pobia took over power and chased this man to another country in fact the man died in overseas that is their former president the former president before pobia died in overseas they begged pobia for them to come and bury the man in uh, cameroon pobia said no 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 so that is a story. So, uh, Pobia came into power by uh, being a caretaker, like some, okay, like take care of this. I'm coming back. When I come back, you leave this position for me. That is how Pobia got into this uh, presidency. And ever since then, Pobia refused to leave Cameroonians alone. But at the end of the day, upon everything, he finally left Cameroonians alone by deaths you know when they enter power they think they are not going to die they still think that they will live forever they will not die that is why they don't want to give out that position that position so we see waiting will happen in cameroonian uh, uh, political space this time around that uh, Pobea finally left the presidency by force by death Make we take a look on what they tell us about this uh, uh, former president of uh, Cameroon. The 91 years old late president is the second longest serving president in Africa. He has been ruling the country since 1982. President Bia's absence in public events after the china africa summit from september 4th to 6 2024 has left many guessing about his health status abs television which announced the death said that its sources in switzerland and france confirmed bias that no official statement have been released by the Cameroonian government consigning President Bia's status. So, ladies and gentlemen, all of us down here and now, the news tell us say the uh, late president, I mean the president of Cameroon, Paul Bia, finally kicked the buckets. Another prominent 
African politician now lost his life. The president of Cameroon, Paul Bea. This one now, breaking news. Coming from Africa. Headlines right now. Since we have discussed about Paul Bea. Mm -hmm. He's an old man. And now the told us is late. Mm -hmm. uh, the LP crisis. I forgive Peter B. Others for assassinating my Karatas Aburi. According to Vanguard, the national chairman of the Labour Party, LP, Julius Aburi, has announced his intention to forgive those he believes have tarnished his reputation during the political conflict regarding the party's leadership. The statement marks Aburi's first official response after a federal high court in Abuja upheld the party's national convention held in Newi, Anambra State on March 27, 2024, where he was re elected for a second time. Aburi specifically called on Peter Obi, whom he refers to as the former LP presidential candidate, to assist in uniting the party. In a statement titled A New Dawn for the Labour Party, Victory, Forgiveness and Unity, released in Abuja, Aburi praised the justice of a court in Abuja and Umuahia for standing firm against external pressure in the delivery of justice. There is a lot of conflict in all this political party in Nigeria. That is what I don't really understand. What is driving all this crisis in a political party that they claim, as you can see, he also talk about unity here. They claim all the time they are the people that will best unite the nation, best unite the people, best unite but at the end of the day, in their, in their little political party, I don't understand. The little political party cannot be able to unite themselves. They will be fighting for what? I don't know. So, that's for Peter Obi and Aburi. Aburi now won the case and uh, he's uh, finally re-elected as, uh, I think, uh, uh, the chairman of the uh, uh, Labour Party. And uh, yes, um, he say he forgiving everybody, forgiving Peter, be forgiving everyone that uh, you know try to tarnish his uh, image when they uh, uh, during the time of this year uh, battle, their internal crisis. Okay, so he are forgiving everybody. So Aburi don't call on Peter Obi to come lead them once again. To unite the party so that they can be able to survive. Because if a political party is not united, there is no survivor in that political party. Just like PDP, as we can see, PDP is dead. APC is inside big problem. APC is inside big problem. They can't get their arts together uh, maybe we go uh, see what then they tell us again about wiki fights with some people still claiming that wiki is the leader of the pdp people in river state after he have disgraced atiku and the pd and his uh, pdp colleagues to go from what is called G5. Now we have learned that they are G7 because other two governors from different states in Nigeria joined Wiki and uh, the other man from uh, Benue State to make them G7, not G6. So, in fact, the two governors also come out from PD. That is why we've concluded that PDP is a dead political 
But anybody now when they go inside PDP, you are wasting your time because nothing will come out. Nothing will ever come out from PDP again. And that is the way we want to treat APC people. We want to teach APC people lesson this time around, come 2027. There is no going back. There's no going back. We have to cooperate. We have to come together. We have to align with each other to, to send APC packing from Asurok. Okay? Now, uh, PDP, they always come out, come blast APC. When we say, now them be the boss APC before. Now, APC, they boss them because APC have mastered they have mastered the rigging game completely far more better than the pdp people so pdp is under confusion apc is i mean apc got serious problem in their hand now the problem in river state between this wiki and fabora wiki have been a confusionist wiki think that uh, he owns nigeria Wiki thinks that uh, 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 anything he says, everybody will be, everyone will be saying yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. No, 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 no. That will not be politics. Politics is about agreed and disagreement. It's like Wiki is demanding loyal loyalty from everyone in that country, not only River State. Wiki is trying to dictate for. Everyone and the man think that uh, he said that this is very very important personnel in Nigeria. No, you are not important in Nigeria. They have many many bigger boys and bigger women are uh, far more bigger than Mr. Yasom Wiki from River State. Wiki have been making problem all the time. Instead of them to talk about their own policy, what they can do for their people, they rather set confusion. They rather try to distract everybody from their failure. And that is what they are doing. They have been doing this right from onset. They are only just to set confusion so that people will be talking about the confusion. So that people will forget about the right real thing that they are there for. So that people will forget to talk about their failures. So that people will forget to talk about the looting, whether they loot uh, our treasury. So that people go Stop talking about every bad things when then when be the politicians that they do. Now the thing when they happen in River State today, that is why I don't too much pay attention on this uh, wiki issue and uh, uh, Fubara because I call this distraction, total distraction, Fubara and the wiki everywhere in the news. Why is that? Are they the only governors in Nigeria? No, they are not. They are doing this for a reason. This is distraction. That one, this one not be the job when the same wiki make it come do for Nigerian people. The time wiki be governor of a uh, river state now, so so problem, problem. Now in the FCT, a new position, a man that is supposed to be happy with his family, he still want more. He still want to dictate in his state. Somebody went on come out as governor of that state. Imagine trying to oppress the sitting governor today. Of that state, when be uh, Fubara. So uh, this one now total distraction, and it is um, a waste of time to be talking about wiki. A waste of time to be talking about Mr. Yasso Wiki. Wiki that a man will come destroy PDP completely. And even to today, he's still claiming he's a PDP. Somebody who is serving as an FCT minister under APC rule. He did. In fact, Wiki contributed the loss of PDP in 2023 presidential election. By rigging River State in favor 
of Bola Ahmed Tinubu. That is why he got that position today. So you can ask, oh, Weke, why are you still um, fighting your sitting governor? Your sitting governor. Why? So Weke is fond of fighting and the making noise and distracting Nigerian people, distracting uh, the regime or the presidency all the time. This is what Weke know how to do. He loves to fight a useless fight, a meaningless fight. So the governors in Nigeria, Mr. Yason Weke, President Ebola Ahmed Tunubu, you guys are not voted in there to distract Nigeria to cause distraction, to cause confusion, to cause anarchy, to cause trouble for Nigerian people. That is not the reason why you are elected to that position. You are elected to that position to work for the people because the government is for the people and of the people and for the people. You have to do your job and stop disturbing Nigerian people, Mr. Wiki and Fubura of uh, Fu, uh, uh, Fubara. This is distraction, ladies and gentlemen. So we don't need distraction. We you you are sent there to work, not to steal money, not to loot, not to distract Nigerian people, not to kill people, not to cause violence, not to cause anarchy, not to cause civil war. Not to cause political war. You are sent there to do your goddamn job. And get a hell out of that position. So ladies and gentlemen. These are the reasons why they send them there. Not to distract us. Not to fight. You got to be happy for the position that you are holding. And do your job for the people of Nigeria. One love.